Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel and welcome again for the part 3 that, to be honest with you, it wasn't scheduled but again I thought, yeah, I done to why not do the third one and I'm going to show you a little bit around Portainer because perhaps many of you are thinking, wait a minute, install Portainer because that's what you want to do, you know, you want to make it easy for you to uh, to manage Docker and you want to deploy application fast, but how do you really do it? So in this, in another one, extremely short tutorial, I'm going straight to the Portina uh, portal here that, as you remember, this is how we left last time and you're thinking yeah but we don't see anything here so how do you do it it's very simple guys just go to the local because that's how we got it the uh, portal installed and as you can see uh, we got here a uh, loads of information and uh, the menu is with app templates uh, containers the one before is where you can actually have the new users and so on and so forth but here on the templates you can find all the templates and all the files you can install, for example, Mongo, you can install uh, HTTP, uh, Registry, Ma MariaDB, MySQL, Elasticsearch, again, Windows staff as well if you want to, an application like, for example, Joomla, Drupal, Plone, Magento, and again, don't forget, you can have WordPress as well. So yes, this is how you do it. You press, for example, WordPress. You give a, a database root password. You create the name of the folder configuration. Uh, and that's it, really. You just add the template. This is how simple, you know, how easy is to create, for example, application. How you deploy this kind of application in a very simple way. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to do that as well. So again, we go to the... WordPress and administrators. I want to restrict the management to this administrate only and is restricted. So I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to create a WordPress demo. That's the way we usually do it. We don't put numbers. We usually give them uh, the name of the person who is running the tutorials or the training. And we're gonna create the database root password for for this instance. Uh, let's call it uh, password one two three, just to make it easy. Enable access control. Well, we don't wanna do that. So we are not enabled access control. That's because you wanna restrict it. We don't want it to restrict it. So we're going to deploy the stack. And we're going to wait. It shouldn't really take that long. Uh, if it do is the loading the WordPress from the repository and it's creating an HTTP server at the same time. For you anyway, when I edit the video, it's going to be in no time at all before we get started with the WordPress. Right, so the WordPress has been installed. I'm going to press on this one here, for example. And as you can see, all the information is here with the actual ports and everything. Uh, I think I made a mistake here. That's WordPress there. Now we got the logs, inspect, statistics, console. That is the image. And this is the IP. And it's public. Okay. So 32768. 192.168.1238. And I forgot which was it. 32768. 32. 768 and as you can see we got the installation for WordPress so we're going to go continue test at the main at the main just because we it's just a test 
so I'm gonna confirm that. Oh, here we go. At the main, at WordPress test local. There we go. Again, the IP address is 172.18.02. Then you need to reroute this IP address for the WordPress, just in case you wanted to add a domain name for it. But we don't need, it, as I said, this is for uh, uh, just trading purpose. This is why we run uh, trainings and we do tutorials. This is the actual published port. So this port here, 32768, will publish as the 80 to this port here, okay? So never, we go to login and we go to admin and admin123. And as you can see, we got a full working website. And as you can see, everything was done in Portainer, right? Go well, back to the dashboard. We got one stack, four images, four networks, four containers, and four volume. So that's the templates there. Again, all the templates, all the stacks, okay? And the containers, as you can see here. Here you can, uh, you're never going to remove those two, uh, by the way, okay? Uh, priceless golden is the hello world uh, again you can delete that if you want to this is the actual protein itself never going to remove that and this is the actual wordpress this is the wordpress with the ip addresses so again guys i hope this was helpful to you don't forget to like and share my videos if you like this kind of videos let me know in the description below so i can make more videos and i can show you again how to install other templates for example uh, i don't know any of the application you can see here or you want to know a little bit more just leave comments below and i'll try to do it my best to do more tutorials thanks again guys and i'll see you next time